Smithtown Spotlight. I'm Bobby Rabbit, and today we are at a fantastic Italian restaurant right I'm here. I'm your host, Jeff Shalero. Riddle me this, where can you find the likes of Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man here in Smithtown? Hi, right I'm here. Kenny Bernardini, and welcome to Smithtown Spotlight. Today I'm at Hoyt Farm, a beautiful nature preserve here in the middle of Comac. Have you ever wanted to get away from it all? The Smithtown Community Chorus was started 15 years ago by a lady named Kathy Caton and Allison Cruz of the Smithtown Township Arts Council. It was designed to be a bit of a training chorus for singers who didn't have another outlet but who loved to sing. So it was a place they could come, they could do some slightly easier music and build their skills. Six years ago, Carl came on board. Kathy had to leave, unfortunately. And we've been very, very fortunate in Kathy and in Carl and in their talent and how they bring out the best in us and the music they select for us to sing. As a musician and the voice being an instrument, it's great practice. I've continued that focus of trying to train the singers to become better, and I do believe that they have. I've seen a great improvement in the music that they can handle and their singing ability and how naturally they accept some of the harder music. We've had different people leading us, different accompanists, but uh, we've learned from each other. And the young have bring a new life to it, and that's what's the best, I think. That's what we need. We need the young blood. I've enjoyed the process of rehearsals and getting to know everybody in the choir so thoroughly. It's just been really enlightening. I'm excited about the performance. I think it's going to be good because we've worked very hard. We've been working very hard. We've been practicing for two months, about one rehearsal a week. It's a lot of work because we're doing about 14 songs, seven of them in a requiem, which is a very long requiem. So I'm really excited to be here. Tonight we have a concert of music that we've been working on. It's focused around a beautiful piece of music called The Requiem by composer John Levitt. It was inspired by the Brahms Requiem in the sense that it breaks tradition by not using the traditional Requiem text. Instead it chooses poetry and Bible verses that are meant to comfort the mourner, not mourn the deceased. It's actually a very uplifting and beautiful piece of music, and I've wanted to do it for some time. I've always loved to sing, um, and it's something it, to be able to put into music uh, thoughts, words, um, some of the music we sing is, can be very, very emotional, and I happen to be an emotional type person, and I get a great deal out of that and to be able to sing with the group and hopefully do a good job. I can hear when I'm doing a good job. I know when I'm not, and it's very upsetting. It's a great deal of fun. We support each other. Uh, mistakes are made, we don't care. We just keep right on going, and no one knows really except us. The Smithtown Community Chorus is open to everybody, regardless of age or ability or experience. Anybody who you know can pay the registration fee can be a part of our chorus. We 
we have sopranos who are predominantly women who sing in a very high range. We also have altos who are either women who sing in a very low range or men who sing in a very high range. Then there are tenors who are slightly higher voiced males and baritones and basses who are lower voiced males. And depending on what their natural range of their voice is, that determines what notes they can sing. Everybody's assigned a note and together they create harmony, they create a chord. The music and singing brings out the best in me. Even my sister Christine says, I'm not happy unless I'm singing. And I just enjoy singing. Music is a gift. It's coming from within and it's, it's hard to un like explain and put into words because it's such a powerful thing, but I just, everything about music. <laughs> Singing and music, for me, it's like breathing. I think I learned to read music probably at the same time that I learned to read words. And without that, I, I feel so blessed that I am able to continue to sing. I just love singing. I come from a musical family and my cousins are musicians. One of my cousins is in a band. Will we come to our senses? I love being able to, to bring beautiful music out of people. I love how just simply the instruction of using this note, using this note, and it comes together and it creates such a beautiful harmony together. I also, with this chorus, love exploring some of the newer works and some music that isn't often performed. You know, there are some rare gems out there that have just been lost to the popularity of other pieces. And I like being able to bring those out in our concerts. I love the fact that the community of Smithtown takes, uh, takes the time and, and the concern to support uh, choral music and music in general. A free concert is it's a part of a summer tradition for, for me. I used to go to see free shows and participate in free shows in my hometown. I love the fact that the arts are still being nurtured even through times that are a little bit tough, it's good to know that the arts are a priority in a community like Smithtown. Being a member of the Smithtown Community Chorus, we have been able to benefit our community by sharing music and the love of music, and also the older people in the group give us tips, and we're able to give them tips, and it's a good way to keep singing throughout the summer like with the break from school, and it's just a lovely experience to be in. I think Smithtown is to be commended for offering a wonderful free concert. We usually have quite a few people show up. In years past, we did more concerts outside. Some of that is no longer, but we're happy to do what we do. It gets people together, it gets them out of the house. Um, I've mentioned these concerts to, to my neighbors and they, they try to attend. I wave to them and oh, there she goes, she's at rehearsal and, she, and she's on her way to her concert. So it's, uh, it brings the neighbors together too.
when the audience applauds, we all have egos. And to have them feed into your ego, it's, it's great. And know that it's if, if it's deserved, you know when it's deserved. So it's, it's a great feeling. It's good to know that it's appreciated. In trying to build the program, that's what we want to do. We want to just do the greatest concert that we want. And to know that the audience is, is appreciating it means that they'll be coming back uh, next time, maybe even spreading the word and getting, bringing some other people with them. It's the 